welcome back to my channel. Um, tonight I'm very excited because I've been having some of these um, pigments. This, this one is a holographic. And I actually have a couple of them, but I was kind of lazy. And at the same time, kind of scared because, you know, um, these are my natural nails. And for some reason, I just, I don't know. I just don't want to use gel on them anyways but today I decided that I want to give it a try and I already did this one and you guys this is so beautiful um all right so I'm gonna show you how I did this although this one looks kind of like more like glitter but still it was pretty easy to put it on and I'm gonna show you what I use I use this um, princessa and this I found it at my local one of my local um, beauty supply stores um, this one is black and it cost me the name is onyx and it cost me like a dollar ninety nine but this black is so awesome because it's like it's one coat and it's already like you know good to go so I did put some base peel off under and that way I can remove it, you know. And I do and I and I'm gonna use this lamp that I got from AliExpress. It has a timer, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, and 90 seconds, yeah. Alright, and it's really easy to, easy to use. Alright. This is the first time using um, gel polish and I'm very excited okay so I received this too from the same um, from the same store and what I did notice is like this one is more hollow than this one All right I don't know if you guys can tell like this one looks like bigger more like glitter but this is the one I use on this nail one more, more like laser kind of and I will give it a try next time I'm gonna give it a try to all all the ones I have I had some from Born Pretty and from other store stores in Aliexpress but tonight I'm gonna be using this one and like I said I already have my na my nails color with black nail polish this one right here and Let's begin. All right, so let me start opening this and be very careful because you don't want to make a. I mean, you will make a mess regardless, but still. You see how beautiful that is. <laughs> All right. So let me get everything ready here. And I'm going to use this right here to dust some of that awesome, beautiful, oh, and I'm going to use this right here. I do have the silicone one, but you know what, I really like how this works. Alright, I forgot to mention, so I ordered this on eBay at like 99 no white top coat. As I've seen a bunch of reviews, and this one is UV and LED, and it cost me like six something. I would try to leave the link below for you guys, just in case you guys are interested. So let's begin, and I'm gonna be very careful because I don't want to have it all over my cuticle area. All right, and. You know what? Gel polish <laughs> scares me a little bit. And the reason why it scares me a little bit too is because it hurts. When I'm curing it under the lamp, it feels like it's burning my nail. I don't know if that only happens to me or not, but it really scares me. And I'm only doing it for 30 seconds, no more than that.
Well, according to my timer, I don't know. <laughs> Alright. So, once it's, it's done curing, I'm just going to grab a little bit. And I'm going to start from the top. And I'm just doing it like, just rubbing it kind of hard, you know. And you have to rub it like really hard. I'm doing it like super hard to make sure it goes to every corner. I really don't want to have any black spots. And I see a lot of girls doing it with the silicone tool. I do have some silicone tools, but I really like how it applies with this. As you guys can see, it is really pretty. Alright, so this is the part where I kind of just dust from the side. Okay. more of this top coat and, um, again I'm being very careful because I really don't want to get my cuticles all full of this and of course make sure you're still in the tip okay I'm gonna do it for I will do it for a minute and it always burns. I don't know if anyone experiences, but every time I'm trying to cure the top coat under the lamp, it burns me. Alright guys, so this is completely dry and look how beautiful this is. It's like wow. Alright, let's do another one. And um, the reason why I'm doing one by one is because I want to show you guys, you know, how to how to do them and you know it's not so hard I always thought it was gonna be super hard uh, it's not that bad and I only do it for 30 seconds ouch it burns <laughs> I don't know if it's only me or maybe because I'm not used to the gel I don't know but it does burn and let me try this and I'll be back. Alright guys, so I'm done curing it. So now I'm going to start adding some of this. And again, you got to rub it like really good.
This pigment looks a lot like glitter, but you know what? It's so beautiful. I'm so happy with it. I'm super happy. I think I'm gonna go ahead and order some more just because that fly is so beautiful. And you guys can see right here some of that black. I mean, it's not so bad, but you know, this is like my second time doing it. This is my first time using this one right here. I use um I used one from Aliexpress and it was more like that one was more like laser like powder. This one is more like glitter. I hope I'm making sense to what I'm saying here. This is hard to explain. <laughs> Make sure you, you seal the tips. Alright. Now I'm going to cure it and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I already put some of that no wipe top coat on this one and I already cured it. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply it. And again, I didn't have much of a problem applying it. It looks pretty good. It's good enough for me. Cure this and I'll be right back. Alright, guys, so look at this. This is so beautiful. Look at all the hollow. Alright, so I just If I'm the only one experiencing this, but I don't like it. <laughs> I'm kind of scared of it. And okay, I only cured it for 30 seconds. Alright. Once I'm done curing it, I start applying. Alright. 
all right guys so I'm done all right and look how beautiful this is and I yeah I have some black there I mean it doesn't bother me that much I could have put more that no white top coat and you know I have some more but I will snap stamp on top of it these nails so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave them like this for now and I will go ahead and stamp this one on camera so you guys can see how it looks um, because I, I want to take some pictures today in the daylight hopefully it'll be sunny and but I will show you how it looks so let me go ahead and wash my hands and I'll be right back all right guys so I'm back and look at this and I think I removed most of the glitter pigment whatever it is what do you guys think I think I didn't do so bad since this is like um, my second try my first try on this glittery one and look how beautiful this is I love it alright so let's cover this um, so alright so I'm gonna stamp this nail right here and uh, for this I'm gonna be using one of my new stamping plates from Born Pretty this is BPL 050 and I want to do one of these images uh, I don't know which one to do now let me use this one I'm gonna be using Mundo de Uñas so wish me luck this is my first time stamping over gel and I'm a little bit nervous but hopefully everything will be fine All right. I just don't know which one to do I want to do this one right here because this one has like more open spaces and I really want the hollow to show so we're gonna do this right here um, I'm trying not to blind you guys but it's not working all right so Let's see. Beautiful that is. Alright, so the image was not long enough for my nail. And it's just hard to stamp and record. But um I will I will show you how I'm gonna fix this. Alright, so I didn't stamp all the way, you know, on the side. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this brush, and I'm gonna put some of this stamping polish, right? And I'm just gonna draw some lines, just to kind of so it won't look so bad. I 
stitch was not long enough for my nail, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a little bit. some regular top coat. I don't want to use more gel. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some of this. But I want to clean my cuticles. Some acetone. should have grabbed the tape because usually the Mundo de Uñas stamping polish comes right off with the tape alright so we're just gonna put some top coat, regular top coat And there you go. Alright guys, so I will leave the links below. Um, the only thing... Um, I'm not going to be able to tell you which one is which because they don't have any numbers. It didn't come with the number. Not even in the bag. So uh, I really don't know which one is which. Um, I did order, I think on which uh, app, um, I ordered one number one and I ordered one of number two. So, I know I order different ones because it's like I said, I order number one and number two. And that's all I can tell you. And the only difference between these two, this one came with two and this one only came with one. That's all I know. But I will leave the lim link below. Oh my god, I'm having so much trouble talking. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. And um, if you, if you like this video... Uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye bye